in our first story. It is now mandatory to wear nose marks or face the full rigors of the law. The new executive instrument, EI-64, is ready. Information Minister, um, EI-164, is actually ready. Information Minister Kujopon Kroma announced at Thursday's briefing. Over 230 tertiary institutions were programmed to reopen this week and were supported with PPEs and sanitary terms by the government of Ghana after intense engagement between the universities and government. Government continues to observe the activities on campuses, even as we engage with other education cohorts on the reopening of other institutions in the senior high school category. As you recall, according to the program, they are uh, uh, expected to be next. We expect to make some more pronouncements to this uh, effect by early next week when uh, the full observation or the full data is in on how this first uh, cohort for final um, tertiary students has gone. So please expect uh, some pronouncements uh, on the next step of the reopening of schools. But already the feedback is that the schools have put in place commendable measures. The tertiary institutions have put in place commendable measures uh, so far and we we'll continue to observe uh, the situation on campus. Government also, observes, government also observes that several regional and district coordinating councils are stepping up their activities to ensure that the wearing of masks is enforced across the country. The wearing of masks, we are informed by the public health scientists, is a key way to prevent the spread of contaminated droplets from an infected person. It is effective if majority of the population comply with it. So government hereby reminds the regional and the discoordinating councils that have uh, or that are yet to kick in their compliance measures to go full throttle and ensure that there's compliance with the executive instrument that has now been issued to support the mandatory nature of the wearing of masks. We also implore citizens that it is our collective responsibility. It is in our collective interest as well to wear the face masks when stepping outside of our homes. The wearing of masks, which is a complement, not a substitute, a complement to the other prevent etiquette, ensures that we protect each other from further community spread. We in particular reiterate our call to operators of public and private institutions, workplace managers, and persons responsible for the gathering of other persons to strictly ensure that physical distancing and the wearing of masks, in addition to the availability of hand washing or hand sanitizing logistics, are available.